Hey, Lauren, I brought some dirt for your garden. Hey, that's really helpful, thank you. But today, I'm actually not using any dirt for my gardens. I'm making hydroponic systems. They're really easy to do. So you just take a little yogurt cup, punch a hole in the bottom, thread some cotton wick through, and then when you stick it in your bottom cup, it can soak up all the water and give it to your plant. Ooh. If you don't have any cotton wick, you can use any kind of rope or even scraps of old t-shirt. Oh, hey, I have a t-shirt, you can use this one. Oh. Here. That's awesome. Yeah, I got another one. Thanks. Yeah. Great. So hydroponic gardening is awesome because you're not using dirt. You get rid of things like pests and disease and it works really, really well. You know, NASA is even trying to experiment with hydroponic gardens so that they can use them on space missions. It's super cool. Yeah. You can start your hydroponic systems even from seeds. You can plant them in something like perlite. Those are those little white rocks that you find inside of potting soil. You can buy a whole bag of just those at your local garden center. Yeah, but if you don't have perlite, don't worry. You can use other things. You can use little bits of Lego. You can use little packing peanuts. You can use little bits of straw or ripped up pieces of cardboard. You can use all kinds of things as long as your plants get held up straight. There are lots of ideas and you can find all the directions for your hydroponic gardens on our website. For mine, I'm going to try to make a whole bunch of them so that I can check all the different types of plants and see which ones grow best. We'd love it if you would share your photos of your gardens with us. Yeah, yeah. You should try growing some lettuce or, or maybe some beans or peas. Those would be really good. Uh, I bet you green onions would work mm -hmm. really well. You know, some things you can start from seeds, but other things you can start from cuttings. You know, oh, you know, maybe try some tomatoes or some basil. Oh, herbs. You can do all kinds of different sort of herbs. You can do parsley and thyme and cilantro. You know, cilantro is the same thing as coriander when it gets to seeds. Those seeds are really, really tasty. You can also try to do maybe some flowers like violas or pansies. I wonder if you can do an iris. That'd be tough because those have bulbs and they're really, really big. But I don't know. Hello, I'm Paul Bunyan. Share your results on our Facebook page and enter the Summer Brain Games contest.